Hey guys, it's Amanda. If you're new here, I'm an American living in the UK and I post out my life and experiences living here as well as these weekly reactions requested by all of you. Now there are some crazy and weird laws out there. So when I saw this video, I was intrigued and I had to see what was included in the list. But what is the most weird British law you've ever heard? Put it in the comments and remember to also leave your reaction video ideas as well. Since they've been around for hundreds of years, it would make sense Britain would have a few weird laws. Of course, when they don't revoke old laws still in the books, it creates a headache for everyone. Lawyers, judges, and politicians have to sift through tons of antiquated laws, and citizens potentially could be penalized for it. While some of these laws have been removed, you might be surprised to hear many others have not. Curious to hear more? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 weird British laws you won't believe actually exist. Twenty-five. Thanks to Prerogativa Regis 1322, all whales and sturgeons found in the United Kingdom belong to the crown. 24. Under an 1839 law, it's illegal to knock on someone's door and walk away. That includes ringing a doorbell without excuse. 23. I feel like every child, every children, every children I grew up with. <laughs> Every child I grew up with would have been committing this crime. I think everyone used to do that growing up. You quickly like run up to the door, knock on it, and then run as fast as you can away. Is that just an American thing? Surely the Brits do that as well. Let me know in the comments. According to the Metropolitan Police Act 1839, it's illegal to be drunk at a bar or keeper of a public house to permit drunkenness on premises. 22. Until 1976, the UK had a law that required all cars to carry at least one bale of hay. It was initially written for horse-drawn carriages. 21. If you're planning a home improvement project that requires wood planks and you live in London, just remember, it's illegal to carry planks across pavement. Good luck. Tw what, is that because like if, you, <laughs> if you're just like walking, you might smash into somebody like, on the sidewalk? That's the only reason I can think. Like walking down. Because why else would that be illegal? 20. After 8 a.m., it's illegal to beat or shake any carpet, rug, or mat in the street. 19. Thanks to the Metropolitan Police Act 1839, if you annoy passengers or inhabitants with flying a kite, you'll be fined 500 pounds, which is about 562 euros. 18. Think twice before. I'm not really sure how could you can annoy someone with a kite. I guess maybe if they're walking by and they like, I don't know, or you're not paying attention maybe and you run into them or something and when you're like flying it like, hey, <laughs> other than that, but 500 pounds. I wonder what happened to make that become a law. For asking a stranger for change. According to the Vagrancy Act 1824, if you need change and ask a stranger for some, it's considered begging, and you could end up in the House of Correction. 17. Be careful how you handle salmon. According to the Salmon Act 1986, it's illegal to handle fish in a suspicious circumstance. 16. <laughs> if you plan to go to a fancy party, don't dress up as a soldier or seaman. According to the Seamen's and Soldiers False Characters Act in 1906, it's illegal to pretend to be part of the armed forces. 15. Thanks to the Library Offenses Act of 1898, you cannot gamble or use abusive or obscene language in a library. 14. Singers, songwriters... I mean, who goes into a library and gambles? Or starts swearing? Hmm, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Writers and street bards will be sad to hear it's illegal to sing a profane or obscene song in public. 13. Many of you likely won't have this problem, but if you're ever visiting Parliament, don't wear armor. That's also illegal according to the 1313 statute forbidding bearing of armor. 12. Compliments of the Town Police Clauses Act 1847, if you keep your pigs outside your house without the proper fencing, you'll be subject to a 1,000 pound fine. 
<laughs> 11. Don't even think of singing happy birthday to a friend in public. Otherwise, you'll have to pay a fee. It's copyrighted after all. 10. It's illegal for your co- I've never heard that before. I know some of these obviously aren't enforced. But still, like, I mean, they do that in restaurants everywhere. At least I think. They definitely do it in the U.S. I'm pretty sure I've heard it done a few times here as well. I could be wrong. Hmm. Common pet dog to mate with a royal pet dog. So, if by chance you meet the queen, make sure your dogs don't get frisky. 9. While this law is no longer active, it was once illegal for a lady to eat chocolate on a public transport. 8. At one time, every Englishman from the ages of 17 to 69 was required to keep and practice with a longbow. This wasn't repealed until 1960. I'm okay with that law. 7. All unmarked swans belong to the queen, and any attempt to eat them is considered illegal. 6. Someone may be fined up to 1,000 pounds if they hang up their laundry to dry across a street. 5. Jumping the ticket queue at a subway isn't just rude in London, it's illegal. So stay in line and wait your turn. Mm. 4. Hats off to Edward VI for this one. Anyone breaking an egg on the sharp end could end up in the stocks for 24 hours. 3. Edward VI also had a thing about socks. He enacted a law saying it's illegal to stand sockless within 100 yards of the Queen. 2. If you put a postage stamp bearing the Queen's image upside down on a letter, it's considered treason. 1. This is considered the most absurd law by UK citizens. Apparently, it's illegal to die while in Parliament since it's a royal palace and you would be required to have a state funeral. So, what's the most absurd law you've ever gotten in trouble yeah. for? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at List25. So I have to agree, yes. Some of those laws are weird, and some of them are just ridiculous. But, I guess, obviously, they were written a long time ago, so obviously there were reasons for them. Although, I would like to know the backstory for some of them. Like, handling salmon in a suspicious manner. Or fish, or I think, it, was it salmon or fish? Either way, what on earth <laughs> could have happened to make it illegal to handle them in a certain way? And what does that even mean? How do you handle a fish suspiciously? What, kind of like sneaking around? <laughs> <laughs> you have it in a bag? <laughs> I don't know. But there's loads of them. Like the socks can't go within so many yards of the, of the queen with the socks on. Or sorry, without socks on. So many different things. I would honestly love to know the reasons why. So if you happen to know any reasons why some of these laws were put into place, put it in the comments. Also, which one did you find the most weird or that you've ever heard? Put that in the comments as well. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.